Your iPhone actually has a really powerful scanner built into it where you could scan any document very quickly. You could also crop any document that you scan. There's gonna be a ton of different editing options. You could scan multiple different pages. So I'm gonna show you all of this in this video. So the app that actually does this for you is called the Notes app. So just go ahead and search, slide down and search for Notes right here. And this is the app we need to use, open it up. And inside of your Notes app, just press this little Notes icon in the corner, in the bottom corner here. And that's gonna open up a new note and just press the camera icon right over here. And the one option that you want for scanning a document is the second one, scan documents. This is gonna open up a camera. Let me actually change it on top here to manual. So right on top, it's gonna be set to auto. So it's gonna automatically scan it. I like to just change it to manual by just tapping it so I could decide how I'm gonna align it over here. And then next to it right here, you could decide if you wanna scan this in color, grayscale, or black and white, or in photo mode. I usually just choose color because we could change this in the next page. So then you see this yellow area is the part that is trying to scan for you. So I'm gonna line this up and we could crop this later and I'm gonna take the picture. Again, in auto mode, it's gonna do that for you. And you could see it knows exactly where the corners are. So it kind of figured out where the corners are and I could always make any adjustments here if I want to, if I don't like what it did. But in this case, it already did a good job. So I'm gonna leave it there. And then I'm gonna say, keep a scan. If you don't like how it did it, you could go ahead and retake it. Press keep scan in this case. And it's gonna save it right over here. Now, if I wanna scan another document and have that be all as part of the same document, I could do the exact same thing. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and scan this one. So you see what it looks like with two documents. I'll go ahead and keep that as well. So now in the corner right here, if I click this, it's gonna show both of those documents. So if you only have one document you wanna scan, just scan one. Now let me show you some of the editing options. If you tap it here, you're gonna get this bottom menu. And on the bottom, you could go ahead and crop it if again, you wanna do that. You could go ahead and change it now. Since we have it in color, we could always change it to grayscale, black and white or photo mode over here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press done on top. And then it's gonna ask me over here to save it. So if I press save, what it does is it saves it inside of that same note. And I have both of those documents here. And what I wanna do now is I wanna actually share this with someone. It is saved in my notes, but I don't wanna share this note. I wanna send this specific document to someone as a PDF. So this drop down it says scan document. If I press it, it lets me actually share this one specific document, or I could save it to files too, which is a different part of your phone. You have a phone app called files. You could save it there. But in this case, I just wanna go ahead and share it from here, I'll press share. Now you could send it to people in your contact via text message. In this case, I'm gonna email it, so I'm gonna choose the email option. And then it's gonna open up emails, and there it is, it's set as a PDF attachment. So if I sign something and I wanted to send this invoice as a signed invoice to someone, this is one of the fastest ways to do that. And then I could draft this email and press send. And since you have it inside of your notes app here too, you could always use the markup options that you have, like the highlighter, for example, if you wanted to highlight something like this. And now I have some edits here, right? So I could still send it this way, so I could share it. And I just texted it to myself here, but if I click to open it up as a text message, there's the PDF now with all the things that I've highlighted as well. And it's that simple to scan any document on your iPhone. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.